Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Mozilla has just released a non-security update for Firefox that fixes six bugs. So quite an important update for a print release. Now to double check we have the update, as always we head to our main menu, help about Firefox, latest version and build 141.0.2. And obviously this is the first point release for version 141. I don't know what happened to point zero 0.01, but nonetheless, they've skipped right till point zero 0.02. And I'll leave the 141 update video linked down below and in the end screen. Now, first of all, Mozilla says it includes a fix for a crash that was affecting systems with older NVIDIA drivers, which according to reports, the browser would fail to launch on Linux machines using outdated drivers. And... The good news, if you are a Windows user, you weren't affected by this issue. And then Mozilla has also said for the second fix, it has resolved an issue that made Canvas objects behave strangely on some websites. Firefox was apparently incorrectly letting users drag Canvas objects, which ended up breaking functionality on sites that rely on them. And then the third fix fixes a crash in the web developer tools panel which occurred when developers tried to inspect sites containing iframe elements and then just to mention the last three fixes Mozilla says it fixed minor visual issues across the user interface and then the second last fix was where Firefox was failing to start with GTK Plus built without Wayland support in uncommon setups. And the bugzilla says, to be more specific, Firefox 141 doesn't start if GTK Plus doesn't have Wayland support. And with the sixth and final fix, Mozilla says it's fixed an issue where clicking a pinned tab could steal focus from the content area disrupting keyboard navigation. So that's a niggly issue that's been sorted out. So there we have it. Our latest point release, 141.0.2, fixing six issues in the browser. So if you haven't experienced any problems, just make sure you get this update sooner than later. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.